Hi, I'm Mitsu1, and I'm going to show you how to solve the Fisher's Cube. Let's go! To solve the Fisher's Cube, there are three things that you need to know. The first thing is, well, with all these confusing pieces, it's hard to tell what's a center, and what's an edge, and what's a corner, and you know what I mean. So, I, you'll need to learn that, I'll teach you. The second thing, which is practically the most important one, is how to solve a 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. Alright? If you do not know how to solve it, then go to me, myself, and Pi's tutorial on how to solve it. I'm going to put the link in the description. Alright? But if you don't own a 3x3, three three, go to the Gabasoft Cube Simulator. Check it up on Google or something. Or go to Virtual Cubes. I'm going to, too, put the link in the description. Alright, it's nice, too. It also holds many different cubes. Whoops, set a cap. <laughs> Alright, the third thing is to learn how to solve the parity errors. Because, while well, solving it like a 3 by 3 you can have parity. Two of them. Alright, one of them, I'm not sure if it'll work on a multicolor. I, I don't know, maybe, probably. But... They, I know it works on this specific one that has single colors. So, anyway, I'm going to teach you how to solve that. Let's mix this thing up. Alright. I love it. Ugh. I'll mix this up nice and thoroughly. And I'll also put this in. I'll also put that in. There we go. And a, and a few friends of mine are playing with the with the cube, so just ignore the sound in the background. All right. So the first step in solving it is look around and find a, a squared centerpiece. All right, like this. Now make the cross as usual. So these things are the edge pieces, and match them up like this all right so like that thing like the house thing sticks out so just make the cross as usual it does not really matter how you put it in unless if you have a multicolored now here's the first parody and I uh, just to let you know I put both of the uh, algorithms for the parodies in the description all right so i'm gonna do that now look to, to the cube to see if this matches up with th this piece and it's a centerpiece that matches up but this doesn't so just do the algorithm l u i mean l i u i f u l and doing that will get it in. But if you have a multicolored um, Fisher's cube, then on the part where you do an F, it's either F or FI, depending on where, depending on how the colors will be matching up. So I'm gonna do it with this one. Ah. Just like that. Now just do the corners as usual. Alright, so like these two colors are the corners that are supposed to be positioned like that. That's how the corners are supposed to be positioned. So make sure you do that. And if you don't know what I'm doing, I'm just doing certain shortcuts and whatever. There, you got the first layer done. And, and just check again to see if the, the centers have been switched. No, they have not. Now... This one is a bit different. Alright, for step three, make these flat, very flat pieces, the single colored ones here. Uh, make them the edge pieces. So I'll do the regular algorithm for the step. Ah. like this regular steps 
All right, hang on a second. I'm gonna do something to make parity occur. All right, this algorithm is a bit more confusing than the last one, but but it's not too hard. If you don't understand it or you don't, can't memorize it, look in the movie description. I put it in there. All right, so this is the parity, flipped edge. All right, so to fix that, you're gonna have to switch around one of the edges here. And to do that, just do this, these, this algorithm, R, U, I, R, two U, F, two R, F, I, two U, two R. Now that algorithm is also featured on Beam Myself with Pi shortcuts tutorial on the shortcuts for step three. So now the parity is solved and all you got to do is solve it regularly all right and I'm, and I'm and I'm just gonna do that I am gonna orient the corners yeah here we go that's for the rest of the video I'm just gonna orient the corners all right and your cube will be solved one more note is I I thank my friend Rahul for letting me borrow his Fisher's Cube. So, for this video, since I don't have one of my own, check out some of my other videos. I have, I have many other cubing videos. Uh, I believe it's five others. Is that correct? Yeah, I think so. Five others. Three. There we go. It is now completely solved. And thanks to Rahul for letting me borrow it. This concludes my tutorial on how to solve the Fisher's Cube. Thanks for watching.